the library today. What was the name of that story we had? The um, the fruit. It was about the fruit. Do you remember what the girl was called? No. It was an unusual. Say it again, Rose. Hander. Good girl. Hander. Handers. And what was the other word? Was she got a bit of a <gasps> surprise? Handers. Surprise. I decided to follow up on the book version of Hand a Surprise with some felts to help them to remember the story and to um, reflect a little bit on the story and to see what they had found, what they had understood about the story as well. And then the felts is just another way of presenting it, I guess, where they have to, they're not relying on the pictures, they have to use a bit more of their imagination and by using felts, it gave them a bit of a focus to it help them to remember the story a little bit, but it didn't have as much information in the illustrations and things. And by using felts and reflecting on the story, it's just revisiting it and reminding them. Um, sometimes the story, if you just read it, will come and go. This one was one that we want to continue to play a little bit with, and it's supporting the interest that the children are starting to show in um, looking at healthy food and things, so we'll use it to build on in our program. And then those other fruits that the goat knocked into the basket were little tiny things, and Nemo thought they were... Mandarin! Yes, but there was a different name for them. They're, they're not as sweet as Mandarin, they're a bit sour, a bit more sour, and they're called Orange. tangerines. Tangerines. I like those. They might grow in Africa, because this story is around Africa, isn't it? I like it? those. Now, on the way to the bathroom today, we're going to play a game. I'm going to tell you, describe either an animal or a piece of fruit, and you have to guess what it is. So, Eva May, I'm thinking of something that's long and yellow and it has a skin on the outside and you peel it. Can a you? banana. Well done. You can go and wash your hands. We'll have the book out. We'll have those resources out. And I can imagine that some children will play it in their um, pretend play as well. So we'll probably have some plastic fruit and some baskets and maybe some scarves to dress up a little bit so that they can dramatise it. So we'll encourage that by having those resources out. And then to build on the aspects of the fruit that were in there and some of the fruit they weren't familiar with or some children hadn't tried some of those fruits, we'll probably try and purchase some of them, buy them from the shop, bring them in and taste them, make fruit salad. The children can help make fruit salad and, and eat that as well.